Michelle, and it's such a beautiful day. Um, Gianna, my camera girl and helper, and myself have decided to do our CVC activity outside. Um, if you can see here, we have labeled CVC. Um, if you're not sure, that stands for count consonant, vowel consonant, that's our spelling. Um, so what I did to do this activity is I took some pieces of paper and I wrote some consonants on them. This is, I just wrote P, H, R, C, S, J, V, L, and M. And I'm just going to put them in here and I'm going to mix them up and in a moment I'll have um, Gianna take some out and find the middle cup or the middle container. You can use paper bags, containers, paper plates, whatever. Um, you can see I'm recycling here. Um, this is our vowel, our V for vowel. Um, vowels are important letters that are in every word and so that's going to be our middle letter. So I put the vowels A, E, I have I, O and U. So I'm going to put those in here and kind of have the last consonant been, I put some other letters in here that I thought would be good for the ends of words. N, um, P, D, G, and T. And so they're going to be mixed up and we're going to try to build some words today. So now I'm going to have Gianna cho show you how to do the activity. You can stop it. Okay. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to have Gianna take one out of the first consonant bin. So Gianna, take the first letter out. This one? This one this no, one. the first one right there. I'm going to mix them up a little bit because I don't want to cheat out. Okay. Okay, so. Put M. So put so the I M. Got, I got M. Okay, put M down. Over here. That's fine. Now choose a vowel. I got U. Okay, put a U. Good. I got a U. Yes, put it right next to the M. We can see. Thank you. Yeah. And pick your last letter out of there. Wait, can you take a look? Well, no, you shouldn't be looking. You're just going to pick one. I want this one. Okay. What letter is that? It's a G for G. Gianna. Okay, good. So put your letters together. So we're going to put the letters together, and I want you to try to sound out that word, Gianna. M uh, G Mug. Is mug a real word, or is it a nonsense word? It's a, it's a, um... It is a real yeah. word. Yeah, it's a real word. It's a real word because mug is something that you could drink your hot cocoa out of. Or coffee. That's correct. So that is a word, so that would be a CVC word that you made. Now Gianna's going to put them back in the bin she pulled them out from. And now she's going to mix them up and do another word. I'll choose this one. Okay, I got an S. Okay, put it down. Perfect. And then... Good. Amen. Got a T. Okay, can you sound that word out? Mm, this is what for, for one of you guys' class. Come on, come on let's, let's sound it out together. Okay. At. The it's word sat. is sat. Is that a real word or a nonsense word? It's a real word because, because it's a verb, and we're learning verbs in my grade. Okay, so like you sat on the blanket outside or the towel. Okay, good. Now put them back in. We're going to do one more. Do you guys know that that was? That, that was? G. G. Okay, let's sound that out. <laughs> Ig. 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 Hig. Is hig. Is hig a word? No. No, that's a nonsense word. Okay, so that would be a word that is not a CVC word. Um, it's just a nonsense CVC word. This is how Gianna recorded her work. She wrote mug, check mark, sat, check mark, because those are real words. And then she wrote hig with an X because hig is not a real word. Okay, cheetahs, now it's your turn. Have fun.